Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. And now, for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall. Weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Pantera. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Takedown attempt without issue. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave 
where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Slips the punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use. And he certainly did so there. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go. Right hand punches the clinch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Yeah. <laughs> Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He missed with that jab attempt there. Wow, what a head kick. Fighter lands a knee yet again. And he landed the right hand there. Switch knee lands in the bottom. Back and forth we go. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Strong kick to the outside of that big leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing landed with so much force. Nice kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Now going upstairs with the left hook. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, Johnny. He's doing a great job of keeping his feet going backwards, sprawling, dropping his hips, and anticipating the shots coming. Very well done. Oh! Oh! Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in breach, and he made good use of it there. Left hand punch from the flinch. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Right hand punch from the flinch. the takedown, no problem. And they separate. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. So a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Sound defensively blocks the shot. And there comes the separation now. Oh, 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. And they separate. Big kick. Oh, nice. Nice. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And a nice job, at least the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping the full guard. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe try to get to a choke position here, DC. Under three minutes now remain in round two. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Gets up again here, but Merton starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that gym. Takedown defense holds up. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Big kick lands. And continues with the inside leg kick. Oh, collar tie. And just misses with that big right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful kick. Oh, big Superman punch there. Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful strike. Going to the body there with the right kick. And they separate. Kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight.
All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway. He was super active in the previous round, landed a bunch of knees, did a lot of damage. We'll see if he can follow up with more of the same here. It does not take much in terms of how many knees you have to land to really take an effect on your opponent. In that round, we saw him make it a priority, and he landed him at an alarming rate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch, land. They continue to exchange. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact once. And he caught the kick. the strike. Look at the torso on the oh. Drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 42 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight he did exactly that, congratulations.